She just doesn't realize she's handicapped. She never did. She just doesn't know it. What she knows is that she loves, she loves her family and she loves her life. And so she keeps on going. You must have an unsquashable spirit. The fact is you always have a choice. What you are looking for, you will find. Okay? If you are looking for the good in people, you'll find it. But if you're looking for what's wrong, why this stinks and that stinks and nothing's ever going to go my way and, you know, all those things. If you're looking for those things, you're going to find those too. You know, you are going to find what you're looking for if you pay close enough attention. Your level of spectacular is always up to you. Listen, people think I'm crazy and that's okay. It's okay. People will think you're crazy. In order for you to really, really, really achieve your dreams, what's on the next one? You have got to be so intense about your focus that others will think you're crazy. And that's okay too. When, when I wake up in the morning, I'm not a bundle of joy. <laughs> she said, no. Because when people see me, I'm a bundle of joy. Right? What really happens some of those days is that I've made a choice. I've made a decision. Okay? I've made a decision to multiply my happy. You see, I don't sleep much, and my brain wakes up easily an hour before I do every day. It is well behind schedule before I'm even going, what? I wake up, and <gasps> here you go. The reality of it is, is that I choose how happy I want to be. Now, some mornings I wake up and I'm like, I really just don't want to do this anymore. My husband and I have horrible fights. Um, I win them all because he's not awake yet and I'm in the shower all by myself just having those conversations about the things I want to said, should have said, could have said, and why didn't I think of that earlier, you know. And when I leave my house, if I don't do something about it by the time I get to work, how is that going to go over? Because I can be the best boss ever. I can be the best coach ever. I can do that 364 days out of the year. But when I am a royal jerk on that one day, it is going to last a really long time. And you might not ever recover from it with some of your team members. So on those days when I don't feel like being happy, there's this little store around the corner from my house. It's called Special Way. And there's a bunch of old guys, and they go there every morning to have coffee. And they think that I am Little Miss Bubbly Perky all the time. They think I'm the most chipper person that they have ever met. And so when I don't feel like being that person, I go there on the way home from work. Because tip number one is multiply your happy. It's up to you how much happy you have in your world, right? I do not want to be a hypocrite. I want to be the person that I claim to be. I fall short, I get up and I do it again. But when I get to special way, I have to get on my car and be that gl glorious, joyous person because that's what they expect, because that's who I told them I was. So I have to do it. And guess what? By the time I get to my next destination, I'm actually happy because I got out of my own mind, I got away from my own misery, and I focused on somebody else. So when they say, how are you today, Sherry Joe?" I say, I'm perfect. I'm sure people disagree. I don't care. Got to start somewhere. I got to believe it first. I've got to believe it first. Tip number two. No matter what you feel about yourself, if you want something to believe, somebody to believe something about you, you have to believe it first. You can't have people around you talking you into believing that you're worth it. You are worth it. But if you don't believe it, how is anybody else going to? Hello, my name is awesome. For me, it's spectacular or amazing, depending on what day it is. Tip number three, stop caring what other people think. That was the one I was out of order there. To be successful, your focus has to be so intense that others think you're crazy. Okay. In a few minutes, you're going to hear from um, another one of our speakers today. Um, Tony Mujan is here, and I just want to ask you real quick, Tony, didn't people think you were crazy? There you go. You know, when you decide you're going to do something amazing, there are naysayers everywhere. Okay? Sometimes it's just jealousy. 
We think, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can't do that. Well, why can't I? Because somebody else did. And I guess what? If I don't, somebody else will. Tip number four. You got to stop being 